Ugandan troops, tanks and armoured vehicles have crossed the border into Democratic Republic of Congo. The two governments say they're going to hunt down an armed group called the Allied Democratic Forces, or ADF. The Ugandan government blames the ADF for three suicide bombings in Uganda's capital Kampala two weeks ago. Several people died, dozens were injured. It's not the first time Uganda's army has been in Congo. It invaded 25 years ago along with Rwanda. It's been accused of plundering minerals and meddling on and off ever since. We've seen in the past that Uganda has not always had the best interest of the Congolese population in mind, nor did it really want to stabilize the Eastern DRC. But what we've seen now is that apparently President Chisikedi has given the green light to this operation, which gives it a bit of a different character than previous interventions by the Ugandans in Eastern DRC. The ADF originated in Uganda in the 1990s, but for three decades it's hidden in the forests of Eastern Congo, profiting from timber and minerals. Two years ago, it pledged allegiance to ISIL, although the extent of the connection isn't clear. In recent years, it's become notorious for massacring thousands of civilians in villages around the city of Beni. People of North Kivu province are tired of the violence. Congo's army said it would stop the killings. It introduced martial law in the region six months ago, but it hasn't worked. That's why some people are now welcoming the Ugandan army's arrival. Others are skeptical. The first thing that the population is looking for is protection. They want the massacre to, to end. And that can be only uh, possible if the protection of civilians is the first objective. It's not clear how easily the ADF can be flushed out of its forest hideouts or how long the Ugandan army plans to stay. Malcolm Webb Al Jazeera.